Now, an Aussie-founded startup has raised more than $60 million to fight bushfires using artificial intelligence. Created shortly after Australia's black summer bushfires, the Pano AI fire detection platform can pick up smoke within minutes from 20 kilometres away. The money from investors will enable Pano AI to expand its capacity on fire front lines. And the Australian Pano AI co-founder, Arvind Satyam, is here to tell us all about it. Now, Arvind, all this time, I'm a bit conflicted. We thought the robots were here to kill us. Mm -hmm. You're telling us they're here to save our lives. Um, tell us a bit more about how this works. So, so we have two ultra high resolution cameras that we deploy looking down on areas of fire risk. They're continuously capturing imagery of the location and then AI is applied to detect smoke during the day and heat signatures at nighttime. So as soon as you pinpoint it, the robots, in this case AI, can train itself to essentially figure out is that smoke or not smoke. And then we have humans that are actually validating that to figure out is that a smoke or is that a dust cloud. So you're essentially adding human intelligence with artificial intelligence to give you those early moments of where the fire starts. And in many cases, it actually beats a triple O or 911 call coming in. Wow. Arvind, so this system has been launched across Australia and the US already. How many fires has it helped detect? So the system's now in 11 states in the US and it's in five states in Australia. So if I look at last fire season, we've captured thousands and thousands of fire starts. Now, in terms of fire, you could have vegetation starts, you can have structure fires, you can have prescribed burns. So there's over 400 fire starts that we picked up that were bushfires or vegetation burns in the US. And in the Green Triangle region where we're deployed in both South Australia and Victoria, we picked up 44 fire incidents during this recent bushfire season, which have fundamentally made a difference in terms of being able to contain the size of these incidents. So it's an amazing use of the technology. So how did the, the bushfires in 2020, the terrible bushfires we had here in Australia, inspire you to develop the platform? So when I saw the bushfires in Australia, I was in San Francisco. I remember the front page of the New York Times was this vivid image of a kangaroo on a burnt landscape. It's one of those images that's pretty hard to unsee. At that time in San Francisco, we were already seeing AI applied in self-driving cars, in other domains. So the question that I asked along with my co-founder is, can we be applying technology to this problem? Are we doing enough? And that's where we went and spoke to a number of end users, fire chiefs. We followed the Royal Commission closely. And what we saw from fire agencies in the US, Australia, Canada, uh, they were all pointing to the idea of detecting incidents early, enabling an initial attack to be able to contain incidents faster. And that's what we've seen over the last five years. We've, we've seen the incidents in Europe. We saw Maui. We saw the unfortunate incidents in LA. There's no longer this idea of a bushfire season. We're essentially seeing fires that could start through the entire year. And so technology gives us the ability to give us an advantage on that time. Unbelievable. This is going to save so many lives. Yeah. We get that. But can we please keep the firefighting calendar? I mean, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> it's just... I agree. So good. <laughs> I think AI is definitely not going to replace calendars on that. Arvind, congratulations on what you've done with this. Mm. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Thank you so much for the interest. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Ooh. It's for a good cause, all right? <laughs>